climate agreement has been reached in Glasgow after weeks of back and forth between world powers. Last-minute negotiations involved reducing global coal use, curbing emissions, and providing cash payments to impoverished nations. Phasing out coal was dropped to bring China and India to the negotiating table at all. But it represents the first time coal and fossil fuel reductions made it into the final agreement. But climate activists say that failing to ban coal entirely means participating nations likely cannot limit global temperature rises to just 1.5 degrees Celsius or 2.7 degrees Fahrenheit. The pulse of 1.5 is weak. Uh, and that's why, whilst we have reached, I do believe, a historic agreement, what this will be judged on is not just the fact that countries have signed up, but it will be judged on whether they meet and deliver on the commitments. But it was the world's poorest nations that had the loudest oppositions to the framework. The COP26 agreement promised to urgently deliver $100 billion to help developing nations cope with the environmental damages of climate change. But year after year provides no method or time frame for doing so. When added to the coal compromise, many say the deal does nothing. As far as I'm concerned, it is a failure. Absolute failure. There may be other good things in it. I don't care. For the people that you exactly. It's a, it's a death sentence for the poorest people on the planet. And not only that, the polluters are saying, to hell with you, we don't care, we're not going to give you a penny. Other developing nations say the agreement is simply unfair. Powerful industrial nations make up the majority of emissions and can afford to cut back on industry. But how can the third world lift its own people out of poverty while committing to climate restrictions? The developed countries are putting all the weight on our shoulders, us the developing nations. The solution for the climate crisis that they themselves have caused, this is completely unfair and our frustration comes from there. World powers agreed to return to the negotiations next year, but for now, the result seems to be an agreement short on framework for a problem that threatens everyone with solutions that no one can agree on.